got another bunch of questions on the year 13 rate of reaction topic so we're up to number 12 now these are all multiple choice questions by the way so a bit different to ones you've seen before but as always the link to the questions is in the description of the video okay so the first question you can see i've highlighted these are concentration time graphs so the gradient is the rate of the reaction so if it's zero order we don't want the gradient or the rate to change so we're looking for constant rate and it's a question two which of these statements are correct so does the activation energy decrease when temperature increases of course it doesn't are the collisions between the molecules more frequent yes they are does a greater proportion of molecules have energy greater than the activation energy yes they do so two and three are correct so the answer is C. Number three is the first of the Arrhenius questions. So from the logarithmic form of the Arrhenius equation, the gradient term is equal to minus E A over R. So put the numbers in gives us that. So if we multiply the gradient by the gas constant, we can get a value for E A. But remember, it's in joules per mole from the Arrhenius equation. So we get that in joules per mole. Notice I've cancelled those minus signs out because we've got one on either side. So if we divide by 1,000, we're going to get 36.7. So it's C. And before I move off this one, the two negative ones at the start could never be right because you can't have negative activation energy. Number four, I'm going to use the handy trick my A-level chemistry teacher told us when we did Boltzmann curves. Think of it like a piece of wire. So if you increase the temperature, you pull the wire to the right. So what's going to happen? The peak's going to drop and the curve's going to shift over to the right. So it's D. Okay, so very similar to the first question. Notice now we've got rate concentration graphs and we've got to find the right one for first order. So first order is where the um, rate is directly proportional to the concentration. So it's A. Okay, so very similar to the previous erroneous question. So remember the gradient equals minus EA over R. So I've put the numbers in, I'm going to multiply um, the gradient by the gas constant. I'm going to lose those minus signs. So I'm getting in joules per mole, that number there, divide by 1000, we're going to get 457 kilojoules per mole. So the answer was D. Another Arrhenius question, this time we're going to use the y-intercept to get A, the um, pre-exponential factor. So again, from the logarithmic form of the Arrhenius equation, the y-intercept tells you what the lin of A is. So the lin of A is 31.5. So A is E to that number, which comes out at 4.79 times 10 to the 13. So it was option D. Next one, so if the hydrogen is halved, it's first order with respect to hydrogen, so it'll be half to the power one effect on the rate, but we're multiplying that by the what they've done to the other concentration, so they've doubled the NO, but remember that's second order, so that gets squared. So it's a half times four effectively, which is two. So the reaction rate will double, so the answer was C. Number nine, so you can see I've highlighted the fact that it's first order with respect to AB. That means there's a constant half-life. Got my little diagram there. So we've got 0.1 moles of AB and 100 cm cubed of water. So we need to work out the concentration of AB because they want to know what the concentration is going to be after six minutes. So moles over volume. Remember, volume's got to be in decimeters cubed. So the starting concentration of AB is one mole per decimeter cubed. So six minutes is three half-lives. So after the first half-life, it'll half to 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. After the next half-life, so that's four minutes have passed now, it's down to 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. Another two minutes, so there's your six minutes mark, 0.125, and so the answer was C. Number 10, first order, so constant half-life. It's not going to change, so obviously it stays at 20, so the answer was B. Final question, so the species involved in the slowest step um, are the species that are in the rate equation and the number involved tells you the order. So obviously we're looking for that one there basically. So the answer was C.